Hey, then again with my part two of the Garmin custom map tutorial. In the first video, I showed you how to make a um, simple custom map using Google Earth and an existing map. In this video, I'll focus on the large images, both file size and also resolution. Remember, I told you that each JPEG should be less than three megs and the image over one megapixel will be rendered at a reduced resolution. Um, so let's start with the file size. I'm going to use the same image that I used before. See, this map is, if you look on, on the bottom right right there, it's 6.4 megs. And that's too big. It just won't show on your GPS. So what you want to do, um, you want to reduce the resolution. See, by, by saving the image again, uh, I went from 6.2 megs to 2.7 megs, which is perfect for what I need. What I need. You could also use uh, various tools like uh, you, a, a, an image editor, like the GIMP, or maybe Photoshop or something else. Doesn't really matter which one you're using. And it's going to allow you to do the same exact thing. So you open up your image, and then all you have to do is to save it again, but using a bit of compression. I'll name it test two. There you go. Export. Then I'll use 90%. And there, there was one point. Uh, in the Garmin page, on the Garmin page, I said you can't use a progressive image. If you do that, you won't be able to to see your image on on the GPS. So make sure you uncheck that if it's checked, depending on your version and settings. It, it'll be by default or not. Doesn't really matter. Um, all right. So so my my file is now same thing. 2.7 megs. Well, it makes sense because I used 90% in both cases, right? Anyway, so I've got my reduced image I could use right away, but uh, that's not all. In this case, the image size, the resolution is, is 4700 by 2900 almost. So I want to I want to show you what to do on the GPS. So that's the image as you can see it. And I showed you in a previous video, but just in case, see see the small text on the bottom? You can read it, no problems. Right? If you go and uh, and put it on your GPS, what it'll do, it's like, it's going to be, uh, I think, uh, it was 1300 by something. It's about one megapixel. Yeah, by 800, about right. Anyway, that, that'd be the image you'd see on the GPS. It looks good um, like this, but if you zoom in, text is unreadable, so it's no good for the... Well, it's no good. It is still good, but if you want to keep all the... All of the, the the writings and everything. See, so Shemaine's camping. You can't really read that. You've got to guess, kind of. So you don't want that, right? Um, what you want to do? You want to split the image into multiple JPEGs. Now, this image, if I was to make multiple one megapixel images, I'd end up with uh, fifteen images, right? So uh, actually, I can I can just show you. If I was to to split it into 1024 by 2024 chunks uh, test D uh, JPEG see I just sliced it in in uh, one megapixel chunks and I've got 15 well makes sense same thing I said <laughs> so I'm not that bad at math all right, um, but I won't use those because 15 images, I'd have to stitch them all on Google Map, uh, Google Earth, and it's way too much work for me. I'm not ready to do that yet. So what I'll do, I'll just take this image, and I'll, sorry about that, I'll scale it a bit first. And I don't want to scale it down too much because I'll lose too much resolution, but like 30, 72, 24, 2048, and that's it. Um... Right, so I can just slice it in, in, in three vertical slices and then I'll cut the middle for six total images. If I zoom in, yeah, I lost some quality, but I can still read the text, so it's not that bad. All right, now for the slicing part, I could use like my tool right here, um, Convert, which is really, 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 really good. And you save a lot of time using this compared to software like Photoshop and the game it just slows you down. Command line rules. Uh, anyway, so what I can do, I can just make a vertical guide at 
10, well actually, I could have left it like this, 1024, and that's one, oops, three, images, guides, you guide at 2048, that's two, and now it's too big, it's not one megapixel, it's a bit below two megapixels, so I need to slice it uh, horizontally, so image, guide, you guide percent horizontal, horizontal fifty percent is good. So um, I'll end up with six images, right? Um, to save them, I'll, I'll just use uh, a filter here that I have in the GIMP, which is slice. <coughs> um, JPEGs, separate image folder. Sure, it doesn't matter. This tool is make uh, it makes images for the web. I don't need that though, but I'll just use it anyway. Alright, so um, now I should have my images ready. You can see my original image, right? The one I've done in part one. Now I'm going to use this image to place the new ones. I could do it without it, but remember I use roads to, to make it fit? Well, if I was to put an image here, there is no road, so it would be really, really hard. So that's why this one is really useful. But if it's like this, it'll be hard because the two images are the same color, so you won't know which one's which. So what you want to do, you want to... Sorry, it was in another window. You want to bring down the opacity. Once it's down, uh, what you want to do, you want to create a new folder, which is your container, really. Then inside this container, you add an image overlay, just like we did in the first one. Now my images, slice zero zero, just slice one two. So I'll just, you don't have to use the same name, it's just for me, it doesn't really matter the name because you won't see it afterwards. All you'll see is the name of the KMZ file, uh, which is your container, or you can rename it, it doesn't really matter. Okay. You bring back the properties and when you click on okay, it just closed down the image. Uh, I'll just move this out of the way in another uh, screen monitor. So you want to bring the image down. I'll just bring this corner to about right and the other one. I know it, it's going to go halfway like this. And it should be, uh, I'll just use, it should be about there. Alright, so you want to make it fit on top of the first one. You just go into a corner like this and then you just move it. You go on the other corner, which is right here, the opposite one, and you bring it to where it belongs. The first one really is the hardest to place because the other ones I'm going to use this little map to, to make it fit. You can see the line is, is good, so let's just say it's OK. So I click on OK. That's my first image overlay. Remember this one, I'll need to put five more. So my image is completed. As you can see, I've got six images. Now I can just 
remove the other one, I guess. It's not showing, but there you go. Now the only image you can see is the new one. And it's slices, right? So I could just add them and, and remove them. But the thing to know is that when you save this image, you'll save the, the container right here in the KMZ file. Um, and it'll save all of the images inside that file. Each one of them is just a bit lower than one megapixel. So you won't lose any quality when you render it on your GPS. Let's do this. Save place as, and then I already have it here. Let's go, Let's go ahead and, and call it uh, multi-test because it's the second time I do it. Uh, I didn't need it, but I just wanted to use it as a tutorial material. So we'll call multi-test. <clears throat> then what you do, you take your GPS and you turn it on. Anytime now, there you go, there it is. So GPS is right here in my Garmin folder. I've got my custom maps. I removed all of my maps um, earlier today. And this one is, is this one. I'll just use the one we just made and copy it there. And that's it for the GPS. Now let's take a look at the unit. Once again, you need to make sure that your custom map is enabled in setup map and then map information select like map um where's my map there you go enabled custom maps and as you can see the only one that, that's enabled right now is my oka multi-test the one we just made uh, so it should be showing um let's close this map uh, let's just hide where i'm living no you saw that in the first video anyway doesn't matter I don't care <laughs> um, so there's my map right here and remember in the first video I showed you the small text right here that we couldn't read well you'll be able to see the difference hopefully see how clear it is well clear a lot better that's the small one and remember we have a reduced quality because we saved the image uh, in a lower resolution otherwise we would have ended up with uh, 15 images to, to stitch and that was way too much work but hey uh, I'm really happy with the result and I'll just leave it on my on my GPS it's because it's so much better than the other one when uh, you can't read your text it's annoying really anyway once again thanks for watching and any questions ask